Hello, hello, and welcome back, Wednesday Web Page Builders. I'm Miss Blair, and this is a class for people who want to learn very basics of HTML and how to build a web page. I do suggest that you go back to the first lesson, which tells you how to download Sublime Text for free. It's the text editor that we will be using for throughout this whole class. Um, and these lessons really do build upon one another, so I do suggest that you start from the beginning and work your way up. The videos aren't going anywhere, so you've got all the time in the world to get back to this place. Okay, today we are going to be linking and embedding videos into our web pages. So you may want to add videos to your web pages. Linking to a video on another website is one way to do this, but then your website users will be directed away from your page. The best way to keep users on your page is to embed the video. Okay, so our key concept today are iframes, like that, and they can be used to include context, such as videos from another site on your own web page. All right, so first and foremost, we are going to open up our browser and find the video that we want to include today. So I'm going to YouTube. And I'm going to choose Reading Rainbow. If you haven't done Reading Rainbow. All right, so this is the theme song. So perhaps my blog will be about children's books and resources. Reading Rainbow is a wonderful resource for kids um, who might be reluctant readers who want to see an animated story. It's delightful. And this is the theme song. So maybe I want to link to that. Okay, we're going to go file new. We're going to make two web pages today. The first one is just merely going to be a link. So I'm going to show you how to link a video. But remember, that's the one that's going to take you away from your site and onto YouTube. And then the second page we're going to build today, we're actually going to embed that YouTube link into our video. So it's going to show the video on our page. So remember, you want to keep viewers on your page. You don't want them to click off because you never know if they're going to come back to your page. So embedding, if we know how, is the way to go. So we're going to start with our HTML. And then we have our A-H-R-E-F equals quotations. We're going to copy paste. So we come back to our reading rainbow video. I'm going to click up here where you type in your site, right click, copy. I'm going to go back to my text editor. We're going to paste. So before we just typed in www.youtube.com. When you're trying to do a video or something that's got all this crazy stuff going on at the end, don't try to type that out by hand because we want this to be easy and fast. Just copy, paste. Okay? We want to make sure that we are closing that bracket. And then we're going to tell it to um, the word that is going to be our link. These are our words, and it's going to say watch video. And then forget, don't forget, you have to close your anchor and you have to close out your HTML. Okay, so this is it. This is all we're doing for this one. We're going to file, save as. This is going to be video.html. We're going to save. And then let's test it out. Okay, so pretty boring. But it should click and it should link directly to... Reading Rainbow, yay! Oh, well, my link works. YouTube is just really slow back here on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so it works. Really fun song. If you have time to listen, I suggest you do. Okay, so let's start a new file. And we're going to open up our HTML. So on this one, we are going to embed our video. Okay, so we have HTML. You're going to press Enter. 
go back to your video and do you see this share button? You're gonna click on share. You're gonna click on embed. You're going to copy. Control over here. Right click copy. And then I'm gonna come back here and where it says number two, I am going to paste. It does it for me. Look, it opens my iframe. It gives me a width. It gives me a height. It gives me the source. Okay, it gives me all these borders, all this amazing stuff, and it closes my iframe. Remember, that was our key concept today. So all my little self has to do is close out my HTML because that's all this page is going to be. So we're gonna choose File, Save As. This is going to be video two dot Ooh, HTML. Okay, so now let's try opening up video two. And it should be, yay. Should be here, so all your people have to do is click on it. Butterfly in the sky. I was going to let it go, but I won't bore you guys with that. Although I do love reading rainbow if you can't tell. So those are two ways. Remember, nothing wrong with this. Let's say you are writing a really long paragraph and you just want to cite a source, basically, and you're citing, because um, we always want to give credit to other artists, to other people who have done research. If it is not your own idea, you have to cite it. I'm just going to reiterate that. If it is not your own idea, you have to give credit. Okay, guys? So if you're writing something out and you're like, I love LeVar, LeVar Burton's Reading Rainbow, the main title theme song is my jam, you could highlight, so like here, instead of watch video, it would say main title theme song, main title theme song, right? And it would be a hyperlink, meaning that people would know that you could click on it and it would take them to this YouTube. Okay, that is totally fine. Um, that's a good way to use this type of video link. If you are doing, let's say one of your links on your bookish webpage is uh, book playlists, right? Like I read Frankly in Love and here is every Taylor Swift song that you should listen to while reading Frankly in Love. So you can say you should read Cardigan for chapter one, and then you can link the Cardigan um, video right there. So people don't have to leave your page to get your playlist, if that makes sense, which I hope it does. So these are two really fun ways that you can link things. People love videos, any kind of pictures, videos that you can add. They're really eye grabbing and I highly suggest you add them to your web page. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and don't forget to tune back in next week. Bye y'all.